How's it going everyone? We're here to check out the skins this week and we've got a mix of a couple things. Uh, with the elevator coming in this update, we've got a bunch of different elevator skins and a few were crammed in there last minute, but hey, you know, that's kind of how it works with themed updates. Now that we have the whole week behind thing, that's going to be weird. So uh, I would say if you're a skin creator and you know there's an update coming up, I would submit them a week ahead of time. It just makes it easier for Hulk and me. Uh, but anyways, moving past that, we've got a mix of stuff. So we're going to jump right on into it. So first off here, we've got a nice hoodie in pants set. It is the Modern Camo by Andy Boo. And uh, yeah, I don't know what you're going to be blending in with too much. Uh, the bottom pants kind of have like a nice kind of like urban camo look to them. But this top part, uh, I guess you'll be blending into a flower stand maybe. Uh, one way or another, this is definitely a set that has very kind of cool colors, and this hoodie is really sick. So it's definitely something I think people would love to see in Rust. Next up, we've got a continuation of a set with the dragon gloves and boots. So if you come on over here and take a look at the gloves, you can see they have that same kind of signature dragon skin. They're also adorned with various different parts of gold there with uh, between the strapping and uh, within the bindings. Same thing goes on down here. You've got this nice kind of like sleek uh, dragon scale thing with a little kind of like an armored look with the uh, tougher, bigger scales there. And then you've got kind of like this nice little gold trim thing going on. So definitely pretty cool. Goes along with the set and the set sold quite well. So I can see this one doing just equally well. This week, we've only got one armor set for you, but it is pretty badass. It is the Doomsday Rework by Johnny, and uh, you can see that with the face mask here, it's got these crazy razor teeth and then kind of this really kind of like scrapped together sheet metal look, but it also has this kind of varied uh, kind of color thing going on, and uh, it kind of almost looks like a oil spill. It kind of has that bit of a rainbow effect. Uh, you got more teeth on the back here of that helmet. Then down here you've got this giant skull with teeth with claws going around over the top of it. And that same kind of like oil slick uh, kind of effect to the uh, armor. And back here you've got a nice spiky spine to match it. So definitely a really badass set. I could see this one selling amazingly. Next up we've got the deployables for you. Starting out we've got the cobalt box over here. And it is, well, sorry, the Cobalt Supply Box, I should say. And it's this little uh, supply box themed after the whole Cobalt thing. You've got the little atomic symbol over there. And back here, it's got little hinges. And on the front, you've got the Cobalt symbol. And, of course, on the top, it has these cool little straps. And then it says Cobalt Space Center. Next, we've got a funny little rug. It might be a little more appropriate for, I would say, Christmas time. Uh, just because that's when the actual Coca-Cola... Uh, the polar bears come around, but hey, this is the cobalt cola <laughs> So maybe they celebrate in a different time. This is the cobalt cola uh, Polar bear rug and uh, I, I think it's hilarious and pretty cute So hey, th this is definitely something I'd see a lot of people just grabbing for the jokes of it, you know Then over here we have a really unique looking and very cool furnace. It's got a lot of sculpting going on and uh, it, it just uh, has this really cool kind of like sci-fi yet kind of anciently runic -y look to it not exactly something that Hulk usually favors too much but we'll just have to see how that goes uh, you never know I think it's a really nice job so maybe it does have a chance and of course when you turn it on it has some pretty cool glow which we'll have to check out here at night of course because that's when it's really gonna shine with the emission here Next, we've got some doors for you. We've got this little wooden door here starting out. It's the Pro Gamer wooden door. And uh, you can see it says, keep out, Pro Gamer in session. Do not disturb. Leave food and drinks outside, please, Mom. I, <laughs> you gotta love it just for the jokes alone. And then up here, we've got some rules. Uh, break these rules, you'll be banned from my room. I choose the controller first. No backseat gaming. Do not speak unless spoken to. And no swearing, mom's rule. I, <laughs> you gotta love it, just for the jokes. Uh, it, it's great. Definitely a nice meme door. Moving on over here, we've got a very cool looking wooden door for you. This one is made to look like bamboo, and I think they did a pretty good job by it. It is the Tribal Bamboo Double Door by Jin. 
And it has all these nice, you know, kind of like hand-painted look to it. It looks like it's made out of like natural paints made from berries or something. Very, very cool and creative. Definitely love the inner part of it here with the extra bamboos and strapping. It, it just looks, you know, pulls it really nicely together. It's definitely a very cool looking double door. Next over here we have a rework of the From Hell sheet metal door. So this is of course something everyone has been bothering me for. So bam, here it is. There's the rework, guys. Since we just got the garage door in, that could mean it might be a while before we get another one, or it could mean Hulk's in the mood for it. So we'll just have to see how that goes. And of course, it's one that really shows off at night. Next over here, we've got garage. <laughs> garage. We've got some garage doors, sheet metal, and uh, they are all going to be elevator themed, of course, because we are getting the elevator this update. So right here, we've got one that's uh, pretty blankly just the elevator buttons, and then we've got the button button. Of course, that does get covered by the code lock, unfortunately. And it does have a glowing version, so we'll be able to show that to you here shortly at night. Next, we've got one that looks kind of just like a classic old uh, lobby garage door. Definitely really love what Bad Trip did with this one. It kind of has like a plain but really like rusty look to it. It's something that really fits into rust. You can see it working. So you need that sheet metal uh, <coughs> elevator door. This is definitely one I think that'll fit right in. Then over here, we've got two garage ones because, of course, you got to have the garage door, which is the next step up. And we've got this one from FaZe, which is simply named the elevator garage door it's got an up and it's got a down arrow and uh, everything else pretty ma well matches the actual elevators with kind of like the mesh and the wood definitely a nice little design there to fit into the game then over here we have one last garage door and this one is of course also named elevator garage door this one is brought to us by jessen it has two different versions one you can actually see through the mesh now a lot of you guys uh, probably agree with me on the fact that we don't want garage doors you can see through because that helps people raid you however i added it to the list if you want to check it out it does look really cool uh, but again usually the things you can see through so well don't get accepted for that kind of reason oh so you know it helps with camping and blah 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 so anyways it, you know people say oh pay to win blah 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 so we'll probably only see this one if it has a chance one way or another definitely a nice garage door so that's gonna do it, guys let's go take a look at these at night all right look at that furnace this has a really epic glow to it so i definitely hope this might have a chance despite it being maybe a little too sci-fi mystical or so forth kind of then over here of course we've got the from hell and our big glowy giant ridiculous garage button uh elevator buttons i keep saying garage i don't know why elevator buttons all right let's jump right into the weapons and tools so starting out we've got a cool looking rock for you this has a neat kind of mystical vibe to it and it is the relic of the incas brought to us by legacy so there you go it's got some inca inspiration probably where all the symbols come from definitely a very unique looking rock i kind of like the uh cracks and stuff going through it next we've got a couple bows for you starting with a continuation in the retro wave set this is the retro wave bow this is not a glowing bow it's just very bright and colorful so you can still grab it and not worry about standing out too bad at night in your early stages go ahead and shoot that take a look at it this way one more time Next up, we've got another bow. This one has a very different kind of vibe going on with it. It is the Hunting Bow Wasp by White. And it's got this kind of, uh, you know, obviously wasp theme. You've got the oranges and yellows and blacks. But it's also kind of like beat up and, uh, you know, fits right into the rusty world. Definitely a nice little color scheme, I think, going on with it. I can see a lot of people liking this bow. Then lastly, we've got one more for you, and this one has a more of a fancy look to it, and uh, the part you grip is actually a skull, which is kind of crazy. You can see the tip of the bone there at the bottom where the arrow is resting. Go ahead and flip it up right there, and uh, you can see the teeth just coming out below your thumb right there. This is the Pharaoh's hunting bow, and is definitely a cool one I could see a lot of people liking as well. Then, moving on, we've got a SAR for you. This one I thought was really cool because if you look at it, it's actually a little tank built in there. 
you can see the treads and everything so i, I thought that was kind of cool and it has this giant barrel which ends up being the barrel of the sar so i thought that was quite neat aiming down the sides so you've got quite a bit of colors and designs going on some chipped paint and uh scuffing so it does look rusty now it looks like there might be a little something wrong with the collision maybe right there because it's staying a little bit dark but that's definitely an easy fix i'm sure go ahead and pop a reload and there we have it moving on we've got a very epic looking ak here once again igor and team have done some amazing sculpting this is the rainbow gradient assault rifle aiming down the sides here you've got kind of like a fancy carving you can see it's very scuffed up the paint is chipping you got the various kind of colors going on there and then on the side you've just got all this beautiful carving and it's got battle scars and just everything going along with it it's definitely a very unique colored uh you know skin here and uh, i think this is something that a lot of people would like just particularly because of how different and nice it looks lastly we've got another ak for you here and this looks like it is a continuation in the pretty cool prehistoric set from zinc and i think mammoth might just be spelled wrong i'm uh, since it is a mammoth and i don't know what a manmont is I'm pretty sure that was just a little uh, misspelling there. If you look here, you have a big old mammoth foot in your face, and then it almost looks like uh, oil dripped all over the front of it there with a little yellow golden kind of sight. Turn on the side here, and you can see it's definitely meant to look like in kind of like an oil slick with all the mammoth you know, feet up in front, and then you've got the little mammoth fighting the caveman going on the side definitely a cool design and final we've got a lr for you it is a paintball lr I, I love the idea of it and it actually turns out looking really cool i think firefly did a really good job on this this is of course the paintball lr 300 it, it's keeping pretty simple to its name there even down the site you've got a variety of different colors with a black tip and a red painted site with a black ring then on the side of it, you got all sorts of little rainbow splats from various paintballs. You can see it's been, you know, caking up over time. Definitely a neat little design with some bright colors. But still kind of, you know, holds true to something you feel like you'd see in Rust. That's going to do it, guys. So sound off down in the comment section below which ones you're looking forward to and hope to see. We'll be back on Thursday to show you which ones have made it in. So don't forget to tune in then. Thanks for watching and have a great day.